But where's the intro chapter slug, you might ask? Voidburger, where is it? Voidburger, where is it? Here it is. What? Because this is a secret chapter. You have to go to Sally during chapter 7, which is the one we just did, and talk to her to get this chapter. Jack, you remembered to come back to me. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Well, what you said earlier kind of had me concerned. Kind of. Not really. It's about the doctor. If, if he tries to harm you, Jack, use the sleeping soup to knock him out. All the ingredients should be around here. If you bring them to me, I'll make the soup. Here, I'll make a list of the ingredients and put it in I'm your I'm going on a grocery run? God damn it. Can I go, I'm going on a grocery run for a sack. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> Probably a lot more. <laughs> You'd be a lot more productive. I'd be a free man without you, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta get these three things that were all mentioned very briefly in the movie when Sally was making soup to knock the doctor out. Poison, basically. And it mentioned Wormswort, Frog's Breath, and Deadly Nightshade. So we're gonna go, go on a three-part fetch quest for him. And this is why I'm wearing the jammies, because, hey, <laughs> sleeping suit, wearing pajamas, there's a theme, and I decided to go talk to the Olmec tree, because I miss him. I miss Olmec. Thanks for finding my men. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks for finding my oh, men. I thought he might say something different, but he's just going to say that forever. Thanks Hello. for finding my men. Camera, camera, camera. So yeah, I don't think I mentioned how you get the this costume, by the way. You have nope. to beat the game with an overall average of uh, C. Which is pretty easy. You have to really fuck up <laughs> and be awful in every aspect to get a D overall average. That would be almost impressive to do. Oh man, I'm getting sleepy just watching this. I know. <laughs> Look, these are new. Because there's no more bad guys coming out of the tombs, we get to deal with the little spider dick holes. But they're a little bit different in that they steal your fucking money. That guy just stole my money. What the? I got it back. Yeah, they're like the uh, the mice in uh, Wind Waker. Mm. So that's annoying. So yeah, we have to go back into here again. Because you get something different. During you get the you get the quest item in this particular chapter when you're here, and you won't get the uh, trophy if I'm not mistaken. So speed this shit up and just grab it, as if we needed to fight any more of these guys. Ooh, uh, look at that! It's so pretty. Marijuana. <laughs> versatile plant. Heals the sick or poisons quick. It's a good little tagline for Deadly Nightshade. More things need to rhyme. Mm-hmm. I'm sick of things not rhyming. <laughs> Fed up. Oh, and so did you notice that I was able to, to grab the trolls now that I have a fully upgraded soul robber? Oh, yeah. I did notice that. I can chuck them around now because I got the, the best soul robber possible. And yet, battling dudes still takes quite a while. <laughs> it's not good enough to make it not annoying. I love the music right now. I'm sorry. Oh no, I like it too. It's like a music box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like a carousel at a fair. <laughs> I like how descriptive the, the name is for this place. Fountain area. You know, the general... There's a, there's a fountain here. Yeah, the, where, where are you? I can't find- I'm at the fountain area. You know, with the fountain in it. That on a map. Why couldn't it just be town square? Like, right. town square, town square. And now this is town square witch shop. I don't know why there has to be a subtitle for everything. There's gotta be. Witch's shop, the best bargain in town! Uh, she, she doesn't have the, uh, worm's wart. Gotta talk to the little witch. Shh, shh, shh. 
Hush now. Hmm? Worms wart? Why, of course we have that. You can really tell it's the same voice actress for the corpse kid here. Dried dog ears, all collected this morning. But I guess you wouldn't be interested in them. Nope. <laughs> You'll always be our hero, Jack. Now pay me money. There it is. And we have to pay money for the damn thing. We can't just get it for free because we need it to save the town from Oogie's clutches. No save the day discount at the witch shop. That witch reminds me of Crow from Mystery Science Theater. I just realized. <laughs> She's crow-like, isn't she? <laughs> it's got a bowling pin for a head. Hey! <laughs> every time I see Jack's face, every single time... Hello! He's so, got such a welcoming face. <laughs> he's a nice guy. He's a nice skeleton. So we got two out of three things. You're two-thirds done with this. We're almost done fetching. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I paused. <laughs> Come on. Get with it. Get with the program. Get with the, with the LP. Sometimes I don't know why I do these things. <laughs> Let's play. Let's stay. <laughs> See, rhymes. See? Is it? Man, this is like homecoming level description tech. <laughs> What's this hunchback doing here? Someone should move this. He should be towed. So we haven't been in this area. It's the, on the opposite side of where the, uh, the infernal machine was that we broke with rocks. <laughs> Do we get to break more stuff with rocks? Please say yes. No, we can hit these guys with uh, giant screws and washers. I don't know why there's giant screws and washers here, though. Are you gonna oh, say no. screw you when you do that? When you do it? No, no, but you can right now. <sighs> I'm not feeling it. Now you're not gonna say it. Oh my god, I don't even know. I'm not good at this. I mean, you already <laughs> called me out in your thread. <laughs> I need to ask more hard-hitting questions. Yeah, like what? What's? What are the bolts for? Like, were those in the movie? What's with pumpkin jack? <laughs> what was this in the movie? Was gravity in the movie? <laughs> I guess I'll explain it in here too. Uh, Pumpkin Jack, Pumpkin King Jack, is from the movie at the beginning during This Is Halloween. That's the first time you see Jack. He's dressed like a scarecrow. He sets himself on fire. He dances, and then he plunges into the fountain and makes his official awesome entrance as Jack Skellington. And you're like, "Wow, he's a cool guy. I like this movie." Whoa. <laughs> So if you press X near these things, uh, he says something like, oh, these used to have fire in them. But you can't set all of them on fire at once because this one's too far away. So you gotta, gotta goo it over here. Which is time consuming. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. So yeah, in case you didn't notice, there's, there's frogs all up in here protected by an electric barrier for God knows why. to protect those frogs from somebody, like me, who wants to steal them. Who's you stealing those frogs? Oh, they're coordinated. I don't know why the doctor even has frogs, but, alright. So, we gotta get the one that has green breath. Well, the thing is, they startle. So, you can't just run up to them. You gotta slowly walk up to them. That one looks like it has green breath. Yeah, that's him. But the thing is, and you'll see it shortly, you gotta hit it, then you gotta do this. Thing is, is that there's a fence in between us. So, if he's not really on your side of the fence, it's pretty hard to get him over to your side of the fence. Mm. And then they disappear into these pipes along the edges. And then you gotta leave the area because they won't respawn if you're in the area. Or they'll just do it very slowly, I don't know. I thought maybe you have it would be faster if I went down here, but then these fucking guys just spawn and I'm just like, ah, never mind. <laughs> I think he said goodbye. <laughs> goodbye! See ya! Yeah, get out of here, you jerk! Yeah, walk away! You gonna start something?! <laughs> gonna start something, you better finish it, Jack. 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 
I just want everyone to know that it's actually really hard to do this because the difference between Jack walking and Jack running is the slightest of thumb movements. You don't even want to know how hard it is to keep him walking and not have him break out into a single stride of running. <laughs> And also, if the frogs see you, and you're not behind them, they can hop away and get startled too. As if this needs to be more difficult, like right there. I didn't run, he got a, he got scared, he went the opposite direction. Those frogs are, they look like they're levitating. Yeah, they do. They don't have shadows, that's why. Oh. What the hell? That's an oversight, look at that. <laughs> Weird. PlayStation 1 games, man. <laughs> PlayStation 2. Oh, shit. My bad. Oh, there he is. There he is. I gotta wait for him to come to the side of the fence, though, or else I can't get him. So I'm gonna let him let him cross over. They can cross over, but I can't. Even though these... I can easily step over these, because I'm fucking nine feet tall. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Mira you have no idea how miraculous it is that I got him on the second try. <laughs> I like that drawing. <laughs> no idea how miraculous. It's a cool little drawing. Oh, yeah. It's nice. I thought I could exit this way, <laughs> but no, of course not. <laughs> so this is how long it took me on a different run. This was a miraculous run. This is the first time I did this ever. I'd never done this side quest. And the this other run, I was like, well, let's do it again. In case, like, you know, I need to replace some footage or something, whatever. And holy fucking shit, this footage is sped up 1000%. <laughs> And it took me 25 minutes, and I never caught the fucking frog. <laughs> I gave up. I was, like, losing my marbles over this. Well, I can see why. Holy crap. It is so frustrating. And if you just accidentally run, it's all fucked up. The thing is that you have to get close to the frog in the first place, because he's able to match your strength, basically. <laughs> like... It's a really close draw between Jack's strength versus this damn frog. Which is ridiculous. Uh, I got him a few times and he kept getting away from me. And I got, and I got frustrated I accidentally picked up some other frogs. And it says, like, I don't think this is what Sally wants. That's what it says when you pick up the wrong frog. So how, how long did this take? It, it sped up so I can't tell. It took 25 minutes or so. And I gave up. I didn't even get him. I gave up. <laughs> For good reason. Losing my freaking mind. And this this uh, this file I nicknamed Frog Hell in all caps. <laughs> I was on the edge emotionally doing this. <laughs> you can just imagine your face. Like you needed a you needed like a scare cam esque like face cam <laughs> in this. Just watching your face gradually turn into a need? big big frown. Desperation cam. Yes, Jack. I knew you could do it. I didn't. I didn't know I could do it. I got lucky I did it. Do you know how hard it was to put on these pajamas? <laughs> you know how hard it is to get pajamas in my size? <laughs> the thin and tall store. I'll try to save the doctor without hurting a hair on his head. If he had it. Burn! Yeah. Bald jerk. So now I have sleeping soup. From the movie. Mmm, delicious. Put Dr. Finkelstein or Finkelstein to sleep. So bonus. So. <laughs> so bonus. You don't get great on these. They just say so bonus. So. And then they just shove you back into the chapter, and you have to complete the chapter anyway. <laughs> Please be careful. No. The doctor really hasn't been himself lately. Well, let's talk to Olmec again. <laughs> Thanks for finding my man. No problem, Olmec. Ah, no problem. You you stay you stay good, Olmec. 